Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back in my new house. So if you haven't been following along, this is the Lula May Farmhouse by Buccaneer. It is a manufactured home that I purchased about a month ago. Month, well, I purchased it about four months ago, but it got delivered about a month ago, okay? So we've been unpacking. As you can see, the kitchen was the easiest room to unpack because it has built-in shelves and the beautiful island and, and lots of places to decorate. The other rooms were a little harder, but we've pretty much gotten the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, the office, and the master bedroom all unpacked. Still, still working on the guest room and the laundry room. And unpacked doesn't necessarily mean finished, mean decorated. There is a difference. But we've done a lot in a month. My best friend came to stay for like three weeks and helped me. My mom came over like every day and helped me. This was not something I did by myself. And this was not something I did normal. But y'all, it's Christmas. And I was not going to miss Christmas in my house. So we are going to show you everything that we've done in the last month, where we are now, what I still want to do, and then maybe, just maybe, later on this month, I will give you a full Christmas home tour because, yes, I've put up my little manu manufactured thing on a kick. My little mercury glass trees, but I still have a lot more Christmas to do. So, let's get started. All right, so starting in the kitchen, we have... The shell's decorated. There's Lily. Still working on a little bit of decorations inside. Are you on camera? She says yes. But I've done a little tiny bit of Christmas in here. Just the deer on the shelves. And then the island. Since it is Christmas, put out all the trees. This little tray normally goes on the island, but if you're following along on Instagram, how amazing do these stools look and the island that we found. I'm so glad. Unfortunately, they think it's playtime. So, hope you like puppies. I'm going to come around here. I did go ahead and get a few over the door kind of holders for towels. I put out all my resin cutting boards there. I've never had a flat top stove like this, so wish me luck. Got some new dishcloths. And then we move into the laundry room. You can see right away the gate that mom and I built. I'm gonna have a full tutorial on this and video and a blog post. And if you follow along on Instagram, you know that this is not the first or the second, but the third washer they had to bring me. The gate is on wheels, so it just opens. Do, do, do. The laundry room is probably the least finished. I'm going to build a second gate to close all this in, but we do have the dog door, and as you can see, the steps are built outside. Once we have a, a little door here to conceal all that, I'm going to build a full built-in over here of cabinets, and all of this will go on the cabinets. But for now, this is my laundry room pet tool storage and my little food and water bowls for my pets which they love you can see in the butler's pantry we do have these shelves decorated I absolutely love all the open shelves for decorating even if they are a little dusty my typewriter from I gave my husband because he's a smith well at the time he was a smith now we're both smiths and on this wall we have the other side of the gate 
and the menu meal planning board that I'm going to be using. This is not going to go here, don't worry. Look how good the back of the gate worked. I made this all with my Craig jig. You guys, I cannot wait to show you exactly how I built this because it was way easier than I ever thought it would be. I really thought it would be way harder. Okay, back into the rest of the house. We have the dining room. Now because we switched the chandelier from the living room to the dining room, they did not um, put it at dining room height. This is still a living room chain. So I am eventually going to have to drop this. If you're thinking about doing this, definitely tell them like, hey y'all, I want the chandelier in the dining room, but I need it to be <laughs> at dining room height. Needs to come down at least like a foot. But we've got our table and the chairs and my little bench. We're all set for Christmas. We've got a lot more Christmas decorating to do. But so far, so good. You can see that I do have my pie safe here covering the second set of windows because it's the only place it fits. And there is still like so much light. You can't even. You can't even with the light. It's so many windows in this house. All right, here is the front door. You can see this is the only art in the entire house that I've hung, and it's because I needed, I needed my key hook, okay? <laughs> and then the living room. I absolutely love it in here. Obviously, ooh, I thought I moved that. Not sure where that's gonna go. Lily, are you having a good day? She says, yeah, the dogs are apparently locked up. I'm gonna have to hang the TV on the wall. I'm not exactly sure where these things are gonna go on either side of the TV. And then we've got the Christmas tree. The whole ship up wall will have a little wall gallery on it eventually, but for now, it's good to go. We've got our little corner of crap back here, which is the dog's bed. We'll eventually go in the built-in, but for now they live here. And the fish tank will go in this corner. So it's coming together. I mean, this is a month. This is a month in, y'all. And I feel like for a month, we're doing pretty darn good. This is what happens when you don't latch the gate, but to be honest, we weren't exactly trying to lock them up, so. All right, let's go ahead and go down the hallway and see the three bedrooms and bathrooms. I did pick up this gate at TJ Maxx, and I've added a little hook and eye right there, and when it is latched, the dogs cannot get down the hallway and look how cute it looks you guys so if you have pets or kids that you need to keep out of an area easy little tip there all right so let's start with the obvious which is that there's no built-in desk here if you saw my changes video I told you I was going to get a built-in closet instead and you guys, it is amazing. It is full of my Christmas boxes and it is not even a little bit organized. So maybe we will do a little Christmas closet organization post in January when I put this all back together properly. But for now, just know that I really needed this closet. They really don't know what we're doing. We're taking a tour, guys. All right, so if you think that I am like a moving master and the best unpacker ever, this is the room where everything goes to die. So this room will be tackled in January for now. Everything for the guest room is still in here. Most of these boxes are guest room. 
And then, since I don't have as many guests, and both of my dressers in here are empty, a lot of this is just extra storage that will be put in the closet and the dressers. But for now, we're just going to pretend that this room doesn't exist. Makes everything better. Next room on the left is the hall bathroom. And dun dun dun, the light switch is like so far over, it's not even funny. It's actually a pretty nice sized bathroom. And if you've seen all of the reviews, like even the guest bath in here is gigantic, you guys. So, good sized bath. There is not a single stud all the way across this wall somehow. So the only one in here is like right behind this door. We are going to hang towel bars, but without studs we can't. So instead I'm going to see about hanging a long piece. That way at least maybe one side can go in a stud and we'll hang towels off of that. Also, Every single shelf in this house is like tall, 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 tall. And unless you have like 12 towels that you need to store in every single cabinet, it's just too much. So, my mom went ahead and built me these shelves in the middle so that I can store smaller things on them. They're amazing. They're very easy to do. And I will be sharing you, sharing you, I will be sharing a tutorial on that later. Now to the office. This room is like 70% done. I love it in here. Look at this wallpaper, okay? We asked my best friend to come help because we thought it would be so hard. And my best friend ended up just taking pictures the whole time. Thanks, Rach. Mom and I put all the white wallpaper up by ourselves. This desk, Mom found on Facebook Marketplace for me. It is 80 years old, hand carved from Spain. I paid $75 for it and have repainted it. We are going to do a whole gallery wall here. So there's lots of little stuff that won't stay. Both of the bookshelves are not decorated on top. So I've got lots of little decorative stuff I still have to put out. But I did just pick up these boxes and these boxes from Michaels. They were like 80% off. Here's all the things for the wall mural and my Cricut wall. You guys, I am in love with this shelf. I will put the link down below, but look how perfect it is for all your Cricut storage. I love it. I'm going to put it on wheels so that I can just wheel it out and use my Cricuts directly on the shelf. And then all of my Cricut supplies are going to go on a pegboard right here. It's literally going to be like the best. The rest of my Cricut actual vinyl is in here. And then here, and I still have all my things in my Cricut cart from the last house. Now, if you want to see something amazing, look what my mom did in this closet. Custom shelves all the way around for all of my shelf, my craft storage. And I know it looks like a hot mess, but you guys, we took everything out and organized it. Everything has a place. I know where everything is. This is going to be a game changer for creating all that content for y'all. I cannot wait to show you guys everything that's in there. Biddy, are you having a good time? <laughs> and then we have the master which is decorated for Christmas. 
I love this room. Oh, hit the door frame. So, here are the beams. Everyone's asked to see the beams. They really make the room, especially because this is a manufactured house. So, right here is where the seam on the bottom of the house is. And underneath this beam is where the seam at the top of the house is. And with that beam, you really can't even tell that it's two pieces. I still have to put up some wall art here. I still need to paint the hope chest. She is not a grand champion. She has dog stairs. You guys, my best friend and I painted this armoire and it might be my new favorite thing in my entire life. Except for my cast iron bed frame which you guys might recognize from the last house, except it has also had a makeover. Don't worry, I did a full tutorial on that as well. So then this whole corner, this little table will go here with an upholstered chair that I still have to make over and the closet still needs to be organized. Don't ask me what I'm doing with the shutters, I don't know. And then we have the bathroom which is pretty much exactly how it was manufactured. I have added hardware, towel bar, robe hook, very glamorous litter box cover here. Added my laundry cart. Mom and I actually made this. I have a tutorial on that. And of course, the vanities. That is everything, the whole house. I hope you guys liked it. I will be back to share more tips, more tricks, the whole shebang later on. This was just a one month update. We'll have a Christmas home tour for you coming soon. And then we'll be back with more projects in January. Bye y'all.